Hi everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. I'm your host Faraz. So in this video, we are solving the question number three of the Lead Code Bi-weekly contest 48. And this problem was a tricky one. So let us read the problem statement first. You are given an integer array coins of length n, which represents n coins that you own. The value of the ith coin is coin i. You may make some value x if you choose some of your n coins such that their values sum up to x. Basically, we can choose some subset of these n numbers which are given to us and then we can uh, sum them up and then we will have one number. Written the maximum number of consecutive integer values that you can make with your coins starting from zero. Of course, we can make zero because uh, we can always have an empty subset that will give us the summation as zero as in this example. Then we can have the other subset which will contain 1, so we can have the summation as 1 as well, so summation 0 and the summation 1. So we have two consecutive summations. Uh, in the next example we have, we will first take the empty subset that will give me the summation 0, that we will, then we will take subset which will contain 1, summation as 1, then I will take subset which will contain two ones, summation as 2, then summation 3, then 4, then here we have the summation as 5 and so on. So I got the hint to solve this question using this particular example, this particular test case. So let me just explain you how I got the intuition behind it. So first of all, uh, the first way to solve it is using generating all the subset. That is of course a very complex task. Generating subset takes exponential complexity. That is basically 2 raised to the power n, where n is the total number of um, integers which are available to us. Okay, So that will be uh, the exponential complexity. Now let us see what is the better solution here. So we can always generate, I'm talking about this particular example, we can always generate the number 0 using an empty subset. Okay, Then we have the uh, numbers 1. Okay, We have 3 ones here. So I can generate all the possible integers starting from 1 till 3. So we have 1, we have 2, we have 3. Okay, So this is the range that we have now. The next number is 4. Now when I have 4, I can combine 4 with 0, I will be able to get 4. I can combine 4 with 1, I will be able to get 5. I can combine this 4 with 2, I will be able to get 6. I can combine this 4 with uh, 3, I will be able to get 7. So I got the integers starting from 0 till 7. Okay. Okay. Let us look at the uh, next example and we will be able to get some more clarity. Of course we can generate 0. Then how many 1s do we have? We have 2 ones. Um, 2 ones. So, we will be able to generate numbers 1 and 2. So, 1 and 2. Okay. So, these are numbers that we have. Then the next number is 3. We have 1, 3. We can combine that 3 with 0. We can combine that 3 with 1. We can combine that 3 with 2. So, I will be able to get 3, 4 and 5 respectively. Right? Then the next number is 4. I can combine this 4 with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and I will be able to get I will be able to get uh, 4, 4 combined with 0 is 4, 4 combined with 1 is 5, 4 combined with 2 is 6, then 7, then 8, then 9. So I will be able to get uh, generate all the numbers starting from 0 till 9. Then the next number that we have is 10. Now I can combine the 10 with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So I will be able to get numbers till um, from 10 till 19. So that is going to give me numbers till 19. Okay. 10, 11, 12 till 19. So I will be able to generate 20 numbers. Alright. So let me just make a small change here. I am just uh, getting rid of this 3. Okay. If I get rid of this 3, then starting again, I will be having 0. I will be having uh, 1 and 2 as well because of these 2. Then when I come to 4, when I come to this particular 4, um, I will be able to combine 4 with 0, 1 and 2. So I will get 4, 5 and 6. But 3 is missing here. You can see 3 is missing here. Okay. So in this case, I will um, I will only have numbers from 0 till 2. Okay. So we got a hint that if there is a gap, if there is a certain gap, then we cannot proceed further. Now how this gap could have been handled? That is either by including a 3 here either by including a 3 into the coins or by including one more 1 into the coins. So if I have 3 number of 1s, I will be able to get numbers till 3. And if I have numbers till 3, I can combine uh, 4 with 0, 1 and 2. So I will be getting 4, 5, 6 and 7. Okay. So that would have worked. Alright. So using this technique, what I can do is I can count the frequency of each of these numbers and store them into map. Okay. 
after that I will keep a range so let me just uh, show you at the same time what I mean I'm keeping a map map of type int and int this is to um, store the frequency okay so for auto a belong to coins I'm going to each of these coins m of a plus plus counting the frequency of each of these coins all right um, after this my range is initially zero so initially my range is zero all right now I will go to each of these numbers which I have so for auto a belong to map I'm going to each of these numbers which is inside this map and this map is sorted okay now let's talk about this particular example here so in this example initially my range is zero initially my range is 0 and I'm going to the first number that is 1 frequency of 1 is 2 frequency of 3 is 1 4 is 1 10 is 1 so I'm going to the number 1 as I can see there's no gap between 0 and 1 uh, 1 is right after 0 so I will continue and in this case my range will become my range will become 0 plus 2 into 1 2 is the frequency of 1 so my range is going to become 2 okay next I will go to the number 3 now in this case there is no gap between 2 and 3 so I will uh, continue now my range will become 3 into 1 plus 2 that is 5 I can create all the numbers I can generate all the numbers till 5 now my range is 5 the next number is 4 there is no gap between 4 and 5 and 4 into 1 is 4 so 5 plus 4 is 9 so I can generate all the numbers till 9 now the next number is 10 there is no gap between 9 and 10 so 9 plus 10 into frequency uh, of 10 that is 10 so I can generate all the numbers till 19 now let us say after this I had if I had another number 20 or something smaller than 20 then I could have increased this range from 19 as well but let us say if I have 21 then 21 and 19 there's a gap of 1 between these two numbers then I would have break from here and I would have written the answer but if I have anything which is smaller than 20 let us say if I have 15 then I could have increment I could have increased this range how let's say the frequency of uh, this 15 was um, 1 okay so 15 into 1 is 15 15 plus 19 would have been my new range all right so int x is equal to a dot first multiplied by a dot second frequency into the number basically uh, this is okay if my range that is my answer if this is this plus 1 is, is smaller than or equal to a dot first then answer plus equal to I'm going to increment my range X okay otherwise I will break and I will return answer plus 1 let me try to run this first so I'm not getting correct answer let me just see what is the problem here I'm creating I'm keeping the frequency answer is equal to 0 and x is equal to a dot first into a dot second um, if a dot first this number if this is actually uh, this should be smaller than okay then I should do it alright I'm getting the correct answer now let us just submit this and it got accepted uh, for those who actually want a mathematical proof for this let me just explain them as well so let us say um, I have the first number as 1 and the frequency of 1 is x so of course I will be able to generate all the numbers starting from 0 till x okay how we can take uh, 1 then we can take 2 ones then we can take 3 ones and then we can take x ones we will be able to generate all the numbers from 1 to x and 0 we already have alright so this is what this is our range till x okay now let us say the other number mm, let us say we have the x number as 5 and frequency of y uh, frequency of 5 is 5 now in this case if this x is smaller than 4 okay then I will not be able to generate the number 4 why because we only have 5 and using these 5 in combination with these um, ones we cannot generate the number 4 that is why there is a gap but let us say this x is greater than 4 
okay if this x is greater than 4 we already have numbers from 0 1 2 3 till 4 then we can combine all these numbers with these fives and then we will be able to have 5 combined with 0 that is 5 5 combined with 1 that is 6 5 combined with 2 that is 7 and so on uh, till 9 and then and then 2 2 number of 5's combined with 0 that is 10 2 number of 5 combined with 1 that is 11 2 number of 5's combined with uh, 2 that is 12 and so on till 14 okay and hence I will be able to generate all the numbers till 5 into y plus x x was the previous range into 5 into frequency of y till here I will be able to generate all the numbers now let us say the next number is uh, 7 and the frequency is z um, now if the range this was the previous range okay if this range is greater than 7 then we will be able to generate all the numbers till 7 into z plus this particular range okay so that is how we work all right so in the worst case we will be going to all of these numbers so um, in the worst case we could have 10 raised to the power 4 numbers starting from 1 till 10 raised to the power 4 for uh, these many unique numbers so that will be the time complexity of the solution other than that I'm just um, going to all these numbers so that is 10 raised to the power 4 there is big O of n and the extra space we are using big O of n extra space to store all the unique numbers here okay so this is it for the solution if you like the video make sure to hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more such content also you can check out my interview preparation series let me just show you that so this is my interview preparation series which I've been currently working on I have reached till the topic dynamic programming so you can just follow along with the series if you are preparing for the coding interviews also if you are new and if you want to learn data structures and algorithm from scratch you can also follow along with this series thank you